Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this short After Effects tutorial, I will show you to make a simple car moving animation. This is a fast and easy tutorial. You can use the vector files or raster files. It's up to you. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, I've downloaded the off-road Jeep and Desert Landscape vector files from the Freepik, and then I have made some edits to the vector files. But you are free to use any car, and landscape images if you want. Anyways, open the Adobe After Effects. Go to the file, then import the required vector files. Select all files. Then click import. Create a new composition. I am calling it the Desert Landscape. Set the resolution to 3200 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. And duration to 30 seconds. Now, drag the Desert Landscape Vector file to the composition. Go to Effects and Presets. And search the Effect Motion tile. Drag and drop the effect to the screen. Now, change the first value of the tile center to 15,000. And then add a keyframe. Go to the last frame. And change the first value of the tile center to minus 27,000. Let's preview it. Cool. As you can see the image doesn't have a proper reflection. So, just click the mirror edges checkbox to fix the image reflection. Now, it looks perfect. Go back to the projects panel. And create a new composition. Rename it to the Jeep. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Drag the Jeep vector file to the Jeep composition. I've changed the Jeep color from yellow to light gray, but you can change any color you like. Click the Jeep layer, and press P on the keyboard to open position properties. Add a keyframe. Go to about 5 frames forward and slightly change the Jeep position. Then go to about 10 frames forward, and then change the Jeep position. Looks good to me. Now, hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and click this stopwatch icon to add an expression, and then type loop out, open parenthesis, and close parenthesis. Let's preview it. It looks like the Jeep is dancing. Let's fix the position of the middle keyframe. Perfect. Now, drag the wheel vector file, just above the Jeep player. Press S on the keyboard to open scale properties. And change the scale from 100 to 75%. Drag it to its position. Select the wheel layer, and press R to open rotation properties. Now, hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and click the stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type time multiply minus 500. Cool. Select the wheel layer and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Drag the wheel by holding the Shift key on the keyboard.
looks good to me. Let me make the jeep shadow, but you can skip this part if you want, let me do it faster to save your time. Finally, create a new composition. Rename it to the car moving animation. And leave all the values as default. Drag the desert landscape composition to it. Slightly, move the image to the right side. And drag the Jeep composition, just above the landscape composition. Press S to open scale properties, and decrease the scale to 50%, and drag the Jeep on the road. Let's preview it. Amazing. It looks perfect to me. And I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial and that you can apply these skills to your own workflow. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you next time on Rizat Graphics. Thanks for watching. Good luck.